Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good. Last session we have seen about decimal number system, binary number system, hexadecimal number system and octal number system, right? And I have given you uh, some of the numbers which is in your book and I have asked you to uh, convert it to decimal number and to send me. No one has sent me till now. I am waiting for your replies. You can send me privately in my WhatsApp number or you can uh, send it in our group also. And in page number 17, we have another one question. State whether the following numbers are valid or not. If valid, give reason. This one also you can uh, find out. 786 is an octal number. You can say whether it is yes or no. If it is yes, you should say why is it uh, octal number and if it is no, you have to say the reason. Okay, 101 is a binary number. Radix of octal number is 7. This one you can just uh, find it. Yesterday's session itself, I have taught you clearly what is octal number, what is binary number and what is hexadecimal number. So, you know, you already know what is decimal number. So, from that you can just uh, answer these uh, worksheets which are in page number 17 right you just uh, try to answer and uh, send it to me today itself okay next one today we are going to see about number system conversions here we are going to convert the decimal to binary decimal to um, octal hexadecimal to octal these and all conversions we are going to learn okay First one is decimal to binary. Okay, here we have two methods. First method is we are converting the decimal to binary by repeated division by two method. That means here uh, any decimal number divided by two will uh, leave you a reminder zero or one. Right? When you are repeatedly, when you are dividing that two, it will leave a sequence of zeros and ones. That will be the binary uh, number of that particular decimal number. Okay. Suppose uh, if you want to convert a decimal number n to a binary form, you will divide n by 2. Okay. Here in this decimal system, we will get a quotient and a reminder. Right. And uh, that reminder will be 0 or 1 only. And uh, that quotient you will be dividing again and again repeatedly with 2 okay so till the quotient becomes 0 or 1 we will be dividing it repeatedly uh, by 2 okay when the quotient is 0 or 1 that is the final reminder value and that quotient along with the reminder you will be writing it and that will be the binary value of that uh, decimal number Okay, I think you would have got a simple idea. Uh, I'll just explain it with an example. So, you will get the clear idea of conversion from decimal to binary. Okay, let's see the example. 65, we are going to uh, convert this decimal number 65 into binary number. Okay, here in page number 18, you just refer it. I have given you in screen also. See, 65. We are considering 65 as the decimal number. And we are going to find out the binary equivalent for this 65. Right? So, here we are going to divide this 65 by 2. Okay? First time we are dividing 65 by 2 and the value is 32. Right? When you are dividing 65, what is the half of 6? 3. And what is the half of 5? It is 2 and balance is 1, right? So, it is 32 hyphen 1, right? Same way again 32 we are dividing by 2. What is the half of 3? Half means we are going to divide this 3 by 2, okay? 2, 1 time only 2 will come, right? So, here 1 and then 1 balance is there. Three In 3 we are considering only 2, 1 balance is there so that 1 will include with 2 so it is 12 12 divided by 2 is 6 so it is 16 and no balance so it is 0 hyphen 0 and 16 if you are dividing by 2 it is 
8. So 8 hyphen 0, no balance. Again 8, if you are dividing by 2, it is 4 hyphen 0, no balance. And then again, if you are dividing by 2, 2 hyphen 0. Again 2, if you are dividing by 2, it is 1 hyphen 0. Right? So here, the last one is the MSB. That one we saw yesterday itself. It is most significant bit. And the top one, first we will get one reminder, right? That one is LSB, that is least significant bit, right? So here, we will start from here, from this uh, left end and you will be writing 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? So this is the binary value of 65, okay? Here they have given it clearly inside this note also. 65 divided by 2 is 32 and 1 reminder. Right? And again 32 divided by 2 is 16 plus 0 reminder. 16 divided by 2 is 8 plus 0 reminder. And again 8 divided by 2 is 4 plus 0 reminder. 4 divided by 2 is 2 plus 0 reminder. And again 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus zero reminder right so here from uh, down we'll start one zero and then till top end we'll be writing and that is the value binary value equivalent to the decimal value 65 okay and uh, we are having another one method also right so the second method is sum of powers of two that means a decimal number can be converted into a binary number by adding up the power of 2 and then adding the bits as needed to obtain the total value of the number. See this, uh, this uh, method that is dividing by 2 is the easy one, right? You just prefer this itself. You just uh, find the binary numbers using this method itself. I'll just teach you this method for your reference alone. When you are converting a decimal value to binary value, you just prefer this dividing method itself. Okay. We will see the another method also now. You just learn only one method. If you find this first method as the easy one, you just study the first method itself and apply that whenever you are converting a decimal number to binary number. Right. Let's see the second method now. It is done by adding up the powers of 2 and then adding bits as needed to obtain the total value of the number. Okay, first you are going to find the largest power of 2. That is the smaller than or equal to 65. Okay, then set the 64 bit to 1 and then subtract 64 from the original number. That is our number is 65, right? So we are going to subtract um, 64 from the original question. What is the question? 65, right? From that number. And then uh, 32 is greater than the remaining total. So set 32's bit to 0. And then 16. 16 is greater than the remaining total. So set the 16's bit to 0. 8. 8 is greater than the remaining total. So set the 8's bit to 0. 4. Same way greater than remaining total so force bit to zero right and then two is greater than the remaining total therefore two's bit is zero as the remaining value is equal to one's bit set it to one so one minus one zero right so here the conversion is done here if you see we are going to see the remaining values there right 65 means we will see the power for 2. So 64. So you will get the remaining 1. Other than that 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. These are all the even numbers. Right. So when you are dividing by 2. The remainder will be 0 only. So those values we will get it as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right. Here in this um, step if you see con conversion steps are given in page number 18. You don't have to learn this. You can just uh, stick on to that uh, type itself. In 18, the page top, you are having one 
division type right that method itself you can convert the decimal to binary numbers okay here in the second step if you see we are just uh, putting the tabular column for each 64 and then uh, what is the next power or dividing by 2 means 32 16 and the remainders we are mentioning it in the um, below columns below row and then and you are going to get the binary value there so this is a little hard you don't have to learn this step uh, you can just uh, learn this method itself 65 means 65 and you can divide it for 2 when you are dividing you will get 32 and you will have one balance this model itself okay you don't have to learn the other one don't confuse it with the other one you can just uh, learn this model itself so today we have learned to convert the decimal number to binary right so you just take some numbers any number you can take as per your wish or you can just uh, take from the book back questions or in between workshops are there those uh, worksheets also you can consider and you can just uh, change it to binary number and you can send it to me i'll check it okay so first to learn the conversion of decimal to binary first if you are clear with this we'll uh, tomorrow we'll learn this decimal to octal that is also easy only decimal to octal decimal to hexadecimal everything same way only here we divided by 2 in decimal to octal means what is the base value of octal 8 right with the 8 we will divide uh, decimal to hexadecimal means what is the base value for hexadecimal 16 right so we will divide it with 16 so that way we will be converting the value decimal value to a binary value decimal value to octal decimal to hexadecimal this this is the way to find the to convert the decimal number system to other number systems okay so today you learn this um, decimal to binary clearly tomorrow we will see decimal to octal conversion and decimal to hexadecimal conversion right Thank you for your valuable time. Stay home, stay safe, take care, bye.